discuss about design of counter foot retaining wall so in that we shall discuss proportioning and stability analysis of counter foot retaining wall i am dr ss patil professor department of civil engineering walcha institute of technology solapur learning outcome at the end of this session students will be able to carry out the proportioning and stability analysis of counter foot retaining wall this is a design example design a counter foot retaining wall if the height of the wall above the ground level is 5.5 meter sbc of soil is 180 kN per meter square angle of internal friction is 30 degree and the unit weight of backfill is 18 kN per cubic meter keep spacing as 3 meter coefficient of friction between the soil and the concrete as 0.5 adopt m20 concrete mix and fe415 steel so the design shall be made in all these it consists of first is proportioning and stability analysis of counter foot retaining wall second is design of stem then design of toe slab then design of heel slab then the design of counter foot so all these we are supposed to cover in part 1 we will be covering the first one that is proportioning and stability of uh, analysis of counter foot retaining wall so h2 is the height from the ground level to the top 5.5 meter it is shown in figure number 1 so here this is h2 and this is your depth of minimum foundation so that will give us h h2 plus this why not that will give us h now the coefficient of active earth pressure k is given up by 1 minus sin 5 1 plus sin 5 we get 1 by 3 so minimum depth of foundation that is y minimum is calculated by k square into sbc q not is sbc divided by gamma is density so it is 1/3 square 180 divided by 18 it is 1.11 meter so let us provide a depth of foundation as 1.3 meter so the total height of h is 5.5 that is h2 plus y minimum 1.3 that is 6.8 meter proportioning and stability analysis of counter foot retaining wall so counter foot retaining wall consists of stem slab then it consists of a toe slab it consists of a heel slab and this is counter foot which are placed at 3 meter apart so let us discuss about the proportioning the base width of the uh, is kept between 0.5 h to 0.6 h it works out to be between 3.4 to 4.08 so let us consider it as base width as 4 meter so the toe projection just now i had discussed it is projection outside so 1/4 to 1/5 of the b it works out to be 0.8 meter let us consider it to be 0.8 meter so width of counter forts it is 0.03 h to 0.06 h so let it be 300 mm the thickness of stem thickness of base slab it is taken same that is h divided by 25 say it is 300 mm i have taken overall depth and effective depth by considering uh, effective cover of uh, 40 mm i have taken it as uh, 260 mm proportioning and stability analysis of counter foot retaining wall so this is 0.3 meter this is 0.8 meter toe slab this is 0.3 so this is 2.9 meter heel slab and this is 0.3 again and this shows the plan so here you will find this is the stem slab these are the counter forts which are placed at 3 meter center to center therefore clear distance is 2.7 meter now a uh, table below shows a weight distance from the wall turning point o then that is to edge actually and moment about o for various stabilizing forces now the stabilizing forces these are the three stabilizing forces that the weight of backfill and weight of stem and weight of base slab so weight of backfill is calculated by 2.7 meter is the heel slab width and 6.5 meter is the height then 18 kN per cubic meter is density this will give us the weight now similarly weight of stem 
it is 0 0.3 into 6.5 into 25 is the density of concrete it is 48.75 then weight of base slab it is 0 0.3 into 0 0.4 into 25 is the density that is 30 kilonewton so the addition of all these is 394.65 kilonewton and x bar indicates the distance of cg of each particular weight from point o this is point o so for backfill it is the center of uh, this 2.9 and plus this part from from 4 i have subtracted 2.9 by 2 then next for this i have taken the this 0 0.8 plus half of 0 0.3 so likewise for this entire base it is at the center that is 4 divided by 2. So it is 2.95 and this is 2.55. So the multiplication of these two that is weight and uh, the distance will give you the moment. So the addition of all these moments is called as stabilizing moment. Now overturning moment it is due to horizontal fill of the earth it is m0 it is k into gamma it's upon 6 so it is 1 6 k is k and this is 1 by 6 18 into 1.6 cube so that will give us 314.4 kilo newton meter then factor of safety against overturning is ms upon mo so 0.9 ms upon mo which works out to be 2.6 which is greater than the factor of safety that is 1.4 which is allowed as per IS 456-2000. So hence it is okay. Then we have calculated sliding force that is pH is one of the sliding force. It is K into gamma h square upon 2. So K is one third, gamma is 18, it is 6.82 divided by 2. So it works out to be 138.72 kN. Now, Resisting force, you have to take the uh, resisting force is the frictional force. Frictional force means uh, uh, the coefficient of friction multiplied by the weights. So here we have to take 0.9 times weight that we have taken here. So these are weight, weights of all uh, uh, backfield, then weight of uh, stem slab, weight of base slab. So 0.9 times that. So factor of safety against sliding. It is, it is uh, resisting force divided by this particular uh, sliding force which is 1.3 which is, which is less than 1.4 as per IS456. So hence we need it to, uh, we have to provide a key of depth of 300 mm so that to make it safe against uh, the sliding. So pressure from the soil we have to calculate total moment about O it is ms minus that is stabilizing and minus uh, the overturning moment it works out to be 597.4 kilo newton meter so the horizontal distance at which the resultant intercept the base it is the uh, balance moment that is which we have calculated in the previous one that is total moment about o net moment so it is 594.7 divided by total weight downward so that will give us 1.514 so eccentricity e eccentricity of the reaction at the bottom e is equal to b by 2 minus x bar so x bar is this 1.514 it gives us 0.486 meter so we have to find out the pressure so pressure at pressure maximum pressure and minimum pressure so maximum pressure is given by sigma w upon b into 1 plus 6 e by b so sigma w we have taken from table then divided by b is 4 meter and 1 plus 6 into 0.486 divided by 4 so that will give us 170.6 kilo newton per meter square which is less than 180 kilo newton per meter square and the minimum pressure it is sigma w divided by b into 1 minus 6 e divided by b which works out to be 26.7 kilo newton per meter square so positive hence it is okay so this is the pressure diagram so this is highest pressure it is less than sbc and this is lowest pressure which is positive so therefore it is safe so review questions so this is question number one the base width is taken between dash to dash of total height 
so we have given four option three four option you have to select one and this is two projection is taken as one foot to one fifth of the width of the total base slab so that is you have to tell us true or false and this is the thickness of stem is equivalent to h by 30 h by 20 by h by 20 or none of the above you are supposed to give the right option now these are the answers for it for the first a option is correct 0.5 to 0.6 times h then for second it is again a option it is true and for the third it is b option is correct h by 25 so these are the references used for the this presentation thank you